Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is April Moore and this is All The Things. Today, I am going to teach you how to do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. And with these three stitches under your belt, you can make scarves, you can make dishcloths, dish towels, anything, so, so many things. Anyway, because these are like the three basic stitches you need in crochet. And from here, pretty much anything else, it might take a half a second to learn a new stitch, but once you have these three down, you are good to go. So uh, let's just get to it. Okay, so in order to learn how to crochet, of course you need a crochet hook and some yarn. And like I said earlier, we are going to do three stitches today. The single crochet, the half double crochet, and the double crochet, which basically if you know these three stitches, you can do pretty much anything. Um, so I am using this cotton yarn uh, from Premier. It's called Premier Home Cotton. And this is pastel pink. So, um, I'm, in all three stitches, I will be using Premier Home Cotton, and I'll tell you the colors of all of those. So, anyway, so you're gonna, this is considered, this is considered the working end of your yarn, not the tail, okay? And this is considered your tail. So basically what you wanna do, and so this is not what everybody does, P.S. I always tie a knot, sorry, in the end of my tail because this especially cotton yarns tend to fray and I don't want to deal with the fraying so I just put a little knot there and it stops it and then I can cut it right there um, for later so anyway uh, so what you're gonna do first is make a slip knot and this is how you make a slip knot you just make a little circle oops a circle with your yarn which is not wanting to make a circle right now and then not your tail not that part, but your working yarn, you just pull it through the little circle and there you have a slip knot. So let's do that again. So you just make a circle with your yarn, doesn't matter how big, pull the working yarn through and et voila, you have a slip stitch or a slip knot. And so then you are just going to pull it tight on your hook. Whoa, I was not even in frame for that, sorry. So anyway, put your hook in there and pull it tight. Not too tight, because you want to be able to get through it. Okay, so tension is probably my biggest challenge for when I was learning how to crochet. And tension is how tight you hold this working yarn. So I personally, for my tension, I have found that if I wrap it around my pinky, bring it up over my hand, that then when I go to crochet, I feel like I get the best tension that way. Some people do this. Some people will wrap it around there. People have all kinds of different ways that they hold their yarn for tension. Um, and this is just my favorite way. So as you go, you will learn what your favorite way is. And so we are going to simply take our hook, how am I trying to do this, and yarn over, which is what that's called, and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through the loop that we have on our hook. We're just going to do that a couple more times. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, yarn over through the loop on your hook and what you will see here is you have made a chain and you know how many stitches you have by looking at these little V's so there's there's actually a stitch down here but it's one two three four five and six let's make thirteen seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there we have 13 
chains. And I don't know where I'm going. There we go, 13 chains. Now, chains are super easy, which is great. This next row where we're having to actually create a stitch in our foundation chain, I think is the most frustrating row ever in, um, in crochet, but you can do it. We can get through it. So we are actually going to now make our first single crochet. So this loop on our hook is actually a stitch, but we never count that. So I'm going to say go into the second chain from your hook and let me show you that. So this is number one right here because we don't count this. So this is number one and number two because we're counting the V's. So I'm going to go into that one and it's a total pain in the badonkadonk. There we go. And we, so we yarned over, we pulled through our stitch and now we have two loops on our hook. And then we're gonna yarn over again and pull through both of those loops. And that, my friends, is your first single crochet stitch. So again, we go in to the stitch. I just kind of, when I'm going into it, I just go in right at the V. And again, this is, and this is also cotton yarn, which makes it, I think, a little more stubborn to get in there like I can't even do it right now and I also just put lotion on so that was silly so you get your hook in the stitch so it's in the back we're gonna yarn over pull through oops and then you're gonna have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both of those and you have just made your second single crochet so we are going to just keep going down the line here. See, we went through the stitch. So we have two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Go into the stitch. And I'm working here with my door open so you may start hearing weird noises. Um, yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. So again, now see this one is being a little sassy right here, but we're going to get in there anyway. Right down at the bottom of the V, yarn over, pull through, then you have two stitches on your hook, two loops on your hook, pull through both loops and you have another single crochet. And that is all there is to a single crochet. So I'm gonna get down to the end here, just so I can show you what you do when you get to the end of your first row. Because honestly, with this stitch, just knowing this stitch, you can make pot holders, you can make towels, washcloths, I mean really anything, just with a single crochet. You could make a scarf. Um, yeah, you could do so much with just a single crochet. So let's get down here to the end. And I'm sorry if this looks a little weird. In order to actually film this, I'm sort of like working around my phone. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of difficult, but okay. So we've made it down to the end of our first single crochet row. So in order to do the next row, you simply chain one, right? And so that chain one is just how we made our original chain. We have one loop on our hook and we just chain through it and we have one more, or just another one on our hook. And then we do what's called turn our work. And then you just go into the first stitch, which is so much easier now to see. And go like that. So into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, and we've made another single crochet. So see here, this hole right, right here, 
that is actually your stitch and it's so much easier to find it now that we've gotten through the the first row so again we go into the stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops and that is a single crochet so this is just what you do into the stitch yarn over pull pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops and that my friends is how you do a single crochet so I am going to make a little bit bigger swatch um, and change colors and come back and show you what a half double crochet looks like. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so this time um, we're using Premier Home Cotton again for our half double crochet, and this is called Lime Green, which is a very appropriate name, I do believe. So like I said, um, I do like to just tie a little knot in the ends here uh, so I can, so it doesn't fray and make me crazy. So, again, with a slip knot, always going to start with a slip knot. Just pull it up that way, saves you a little time. You'll get there if, it, if it's not comfortable yet, not a big deal. So, we are going to again chain 13. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoops, twelve, sorry about that, thirteen. Let me get some yarn off of here so it's not going to be making me cuckoo pants. Okay, so half double crochet. We are going to go into our second chain again from the hook remember we don't count this one that's on the hook so here's one and here's two so we're gonna go into that chain but first we're gonna do a yarn over so if we were doing a single crochet we would go, just go right into the stitch yarn over pull through but since we are doing a half double you're actually going to yarn over first and then go into the stitch yarn over again and pull up and now we have three loops on our hook and so the half double crochet is then just pulling through all three loops not hard huh super easy actually so we yarn over go into the stitch yarn over and again we have three loops on our hook and we pull through all three of those hooks now some yarn You'll notice I tend to go like one by one. Some yarn is super easy to work with and you can just pull through all three loops at the same time. I'm, I don't know, let's try. Yeah, see, this yarn is not super easy like that. So, but anyway, that's called a double crochet uh, or a half double crochet. So I'm just gonna go down to the end and I will show you what you do when you get to the end of a half double crochet row. Now, just like with the single crochet, you can use a half double crochet for anything as well. You can make a scarf, towels, uh, dish towels, dish rags, um, literally so much. You can make so much with just knowing the half double crochet. Um, it, it gives you a slightly larger stitch, higher stitch, I guess I, sh I should say. Um, and it's just a little more decorative. It's, you know, it's nothing super fancy, but it can give, it can add a little bit of texture to your work. So here we have gotten down to the end and what we are going to do is chain two. So remember, if we're doing a single crochet, we just do one, a half double now, we're going to chain two and then turn our work. And again, here you can see the stitches are nice and open. So we're gonna yarn over, go into our stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, and there we go. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over and go through all three loops. So just one more time is yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three loops. So that is a half double crochet. So I am going to change colors and I will show you what a double crochet looks like next. Just do one more for good measure. There we go. I'll be right back. Okay, and so we are back again, this time with still Premier Home Cotton. This time it is in Cornflower Blue. I am going to tie a knot in my end and then, oops, sorry, and now my slip knot. And you'll also figure out how to make your slip knots, the, you know, that just works the best way for you. So anyway, we have done the single crochet, the half double crochet. Now we are going to do the double crochet. So let's chain 13 again. One, two, three, Whoops, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And again, we do not count the stitch that is on our hook. And we are going to go into the third chain from the hook. So not this one, but one, two, three. This blue is a little bit interesting. Um, it's a little fuzzier than the others. So anyway, just like the half double crochet, um, remember single crochet, you go right into the stitch, a half double, you yarn over. We're gonna do that now with the double crochet. So you yarn over, go into the third stitch from the hook, and now, just like a half double crochet, we have these three loops on our hook. What we're going to do is yarn over and pull through two. And then we're left with two loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and then go through those two. And that is a double crochet. So let's yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now we have those three stitches, right? We're gonna go through the first two and then the second two. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, go through the first two, yarn over, go through the second two. And you can see it's a much taller stitch than either the single crochet or the half double. And so with this stitch, you can as well make all of the same things that I talked about earlier. Um, and if you design something, you can incorporate all three of the stitches. Uh, you could make a dish towel with a single crochet as like the first five rows and then use half double crochet for the next three rows and then single crochet again, and then add some double crochets in there. But with these three stitches, I mean, these are the basic building blocks of crochet. And you see how nice and tall those are. Oh, so pretty. So just again, uh, yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop with those three loops on your hook, pull through two, pull through two. And so we are going to go to the end here so I can show you what you need to do. If you're using a double crochet stitch, what you do when you get to the end of your, ugh, end of your row. So here we are at the end and we're going to chain one, two, three. All right, so we chain three and then we turn our work and your work always, I know it kind of looks like it's going down when you're crocheting, but know that you are actually working along the top of this. Okay, so let me 
get rid of here again. So yarn over. And we're going to go into that first stitch. Let me show you that a little bit better. So here's our first stitch. Sometimes you'll see in a pattern where it'll say the chain counts as a stitch. Sometimes it doesn't count as a stitch. For our purposes, we're just not going to count it. So we can go into that first stitch, okay? So it was a yarn over. And we're doing the same thing. So yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go through the first two loops and then the second two loops. Yarn over into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over for the through the first two and then yarn over and go through the second two. So that is the double crochet. And what I want to show you now is what they sort of look like side by side so you have maybe a better idea of the differences between the stitches, all right? So I have created these swatches. This is the single crochet. All right, that is just a little swatch that I made up of single crochets. You can see each line is a single crochet row. The double crochet is a little bit taller, and this is the stitch right here. So this part is the stitch. So you see here, the stitch is actually fairly short. Let me see if I can, so this area right here, it's not real tall, right? When we go to the half double crochet, the stitch is actually longer. The, di the distance between the rows is longer because of the stitch. And it's also going to make a slightly larger swatch. And then this is the double crochet. So here is the double crochet, crochet stitch, noticing then that the this is a row right here, and then this is a row up here. The distance between those is much larger because our stitch is actually larger. And, and that's it. So that is what these three guys look like. A single, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. And you can do all of them. They're super easy. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will certainly address those questions. Um, if this video was helpful, please hit subscribe and just crush it. Just that like button, man. Just smash it hard. Just give me that like. <laughs> Or not, that's totally fine too. Um, but anyway, I hope that this was um, helpful for you. And I know that 4th of July is coming up really soon, but I am going to upload a video tomorrow on how to make 4th of July coasters. Just using these stitches, nothing fancy at all. So anyway, I hope you check that out and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.